Today is the day Stephanie begins her adventure to Minnesota. Currently in San Jose, it's 60 and mostly cloudy. I just got home from work. I have basically three options of what I can do now. One, I could shower and get out of these clothes. Two, I could play some Skyrim. Or three, I could work on my demos with Angular videos. While I did waste a bunch of time tonight playing Skyrim, I'm getting back into building demos with Angular. It's been over a week since my last post, so I'm very excited to get back into it. Just got the next demos with Angular video scheduled and ready for tomorrow. One of the new pieces of technology in my life recently is this Blue Yeti microphone that I've added. Previously I was using a $20 mic I bought off of Amazon like seven years ago, but I wanted to actually upgrade the audio quality that I was capturing, especially because I'm doing a lot more video production now. While this microphone is probably almost 10 times as much as the other microphone, the quality is only about 10 to 15% better than what I had before. But this microphone kind of starts to shine when you look at the features on the back side. So in addition to the normal volume and headphone control, you also have these two switches. The switch on the left allows you to control what type of audio you want to capture. So the microphone I was using previously only supported cardioid, which is the audio directly in front of the microphone. But this one actually has a bunch of modes that you can activate. One is for uh, bi-directional, so if you're in front or behind the microphone, which is really good for interviews. It's got a universal if you want to capture really all of the ambiance of a room. Uh, the second switch that we have here is the gain switch. The gain switch has been really useful uh, in terms of adjusting the audio volume that I want to be capturing. This has actually been a really huge help for me because it means that I don't have to adjust all of the audio volume and levels in post or while editing. It also means I think that there's actually a little bit less noise in terms of the audio that I'm capturing. But the biggest problem with this microphone in terms of how awesome it is, is that it's actually exposing all of the other gaps in terms of the way that I capture audio. So I can tell that this microphone is much better than the microphone I'm using on this camera. And I can also tell that the audio and the environment that I'm capturing this audio is really not good. I've got hardwood floors here, I've got computers in the same room that are noisy and have fans, and so that's really exposing, the, the quality of this microphone is exposing the lack of quality in terms of my audio production overall. This is something I'm gonna have to reflect about because I don't have room or space for an audio studio to be doing this filming. Uh, I do have access to one at work, but I don't know if I want to actually be using that and taking all the time to uh, work in that environment. It is about 10 o'clock at night now, but I'm feeling like I've got lots of energy left, so I'm gonna go play Skyrim while walking on the treadmill for the next, I don't know, half hour, hour. Turn off Panda. So I think I'm getting better at this crazy idea of walking on the treadmill while playing Skyrim. I only almost fell off the treadmill like twice. Uh, the toughest part was when I was being swarmed by Draugrs, which are these kind of enemies that attack you. And like my instinct was to like back up because I was backing up in the game. And that, that was not the best idea. And we did it faster and at a steeper incline than last time. So if we can just keep this up, we'll be fit in no time. I had a very relaxing but also productive night this evening. I feel like I made really good use of my time. I'm gonna go ahead and watch a few TikToks, formerly known as Musical.ly's, to lighten the mood and calm down a little bit while I relax after the treadmill. That's it for me, good night.